Well, in this video tutorial, we will see how to check and update the general query log files in uh, Linux. So first of all, let's understand what is general query log. So general query log is a general record of what uh, is happening in MySQL D instance, what MySQL D instance is doing. The server writes the information to this log when the client connects or it, it gets disconnected. So it it keeps information of all what is happening in terms of SQL statement which is received from the client. So uh, this general query log can be very useful when you, when you suspect some kind of uh, error from a client or you wanted to know what uh, client is exactly doing or what client uh, what kind of data client is sending to the MySQL. -E. So first of all, we need to understand, uh, we need to check if, if general log is enabled on my system or not. So let's log into the MySQL instance. So I have a MySQL instance which is running on a Linux environment and I'm going to log in into that using MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p password. I'm going to feed in the password and uh, we'll just check, uh, we can check it through the command prompt or we can uh, uh, check it from the uh, uh, conf file which is my.conf so it is easier to uh, check it using the show variable uh, variables like and the variable name so I'm going to fire show variables like uh, uh, percentage general so this is showing me the two values general log which is uh, set to off and the location this is the file so um, what actually it means is let me tail uh, to the 100 lines and the current running line. So you can see earlier I had enabled it. Let's say if I say uh, show databases and just see if it is getting captured in my general log or not. So you can say there is no show uh, database command uh, which is executed over here. So what I'm going to do is I have to turn it on. So let me drop a database drop database and database name is let's say it is test tv let me see if it is captured or not it is not captured because general logging is not enabled so what we have to do is we have to enable it to enable it what we need to do is we need to stop the instance so to stop the instance we will say service mysql is stop once it is stopped we need to add it the my dot cnf file uh, which is set to value 0 will uh, turn it to 1 and uh, then we'll start the instance once again so let's uh, add the parameter which by default it is uh, uh, turned off if you if you have a good reason you can turn it on in our case we are going to turn it on so general logging is equal to 0 so that means it is turned off let's turn it on so I have just uh, updated the general log equal to 1 from 0. Let's start the instance MySQL D uh, service MySQL D start. Once it is started, we will log into uh, the command prompt and we'll check whether it is enabled or not. So the instance is started. Let me clear the screen. Once the clean, uh, the screen is clear, let's say uh, MySQL.u hyphen uh, root hyphen p. So I'm going to log into the command prompt and again we will uh, fire the same command which says uh, show variable like uh, show variables like general and it will show you that general log is enabled and if you check so I fire two commands one is uh, I logged into the root as root user so and then uh, I fired show variables like general percentage, so it is showing me. And if I say show databases, it must capture this statement as well. So you can see uh, the show database, the, the results is not uh, captured, but the statement which is fired by the client that will be captured. So this is good when you have to, uh, uh, let me drop one database and we'll see if it is captured or not drop database test and if you see uh, drop database test is is capture let me fire select star from mysql.user and we'll see if it is getting captured so anything uh, which is uh, on mysql d that will be captured
So select a star from mysql.users. So that a statement which I have executed from mysql prompt is, is uh, Executed. So if you if it is an application which is getting connected, or a client which is getting connected, so it it is going to capture each and everything. So you have to very uh, careful when you are going to enable it. Otherwise, the storage may fill up your storage, and and if it is in the same default location, then uh, it will be 100% full, and your instance may stuck. I hope this is going to be helpful, and thanks for watching.